Here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, we did it! We did it! So we're trying out the Yi Hua 948 desoldering station. We got the desoldering gun and we've rubbed some flux on the pins of the SN7406 chip, which we believe is the source of all our problems. So let's get to work desoldering. Aaron's going to put the the goggles on, not the gloves. <laughs> yep, there we go. And he's, um, zoom in there. Sorry about the shakiness, folks. There we go. Ah, uh, just watch that come right out. It's like butter with the flux. A lot easier with the flux. I'm gonna go back to the ground one. Uh, for what reason? It's gonna be harder. Why? Well, so that large ground trace is going to suck up more heat. Uh, that one is kind of, I may have to add more solder to that one. Yeah, if the sucking doesn't exactly work the first time, we may or may not have to add solder in order to make it go smoother. This is mostly pretty clean looking though. Actually, right, that right. wasn't too bad. Okay, let's see if we can get that out of there. Okay, that came right out easy peasy. Just take the old flathead and spudge it right out. Yeah, I should have bought one of these years ago. Wow, that makes that process a lot easier. Good God, that is some disgusting flux. Gross, it looks like boogers. Okay, so this flux I used, I found in my colleague's office. It was just sitting on a desk in the corner. And this is probably from 1960-something, and who knows what's in it. So I'm going to clean this up a bit. Da-da-da. Okay, I got the ancient flux cleared off of here, and we'll put on some new flux. Wait, didn't you mean to say solder? Um, actually, there's flux in the solder. Oh, that's clever. I round up this old school socket from my pile of junk. Okay, quick note to my students. You want to heat up the pen and the pad. Wait a second. Introduce the solder. Let it flow. Take the solder away and then hold the iron on it for another second. Because a mistake I see a lot of students make is they'll apply the solder and the iron at the same time. And where they haven't heated this all up nicely first. And another thing they'll do is they'll take away the solder and the iron at the same time. And the it just, it, it's not good. Anyway, so I'm going to apply heat. Now for the moment of truth. Apply heat, apply solder. I wait a second. Apply heat, apply solder. Wait a second. And notice when I'm doing this, I'm touching both the pen and the pad. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of people on YouTube now that are going to criticize my soldering technique. And really, I should be doing this with uh, ventilation, proper fan. Bad example. Don't follow my example. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay, if I was doing any more soldering now, definitely, okay, back out a bit because it's hot. Um, I would definitely go get proper ventilation. But it looks like that socket is fully soldered in. Yeah. Now for the moment of truth, or we, uh... Put in the new chip, plug it in, and see if it works. So here's a 7406 chip that I found in the drawers in my office. I think I might have inherited this from my grandpa or a friend of mine who was doubly, who moved to Oregon, gave me a bunch of stuff when he cleared out. Anyway, who knows if this works or not. Okay, so I'm going to reconnect the keyboard. Are you sure that's the right way? Yes, I remember it was coming out the left. Positive? Positive. Okay. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth where we plug it in. All righty. Whoop, did I just break that? <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, I think that's in solidly, though, but I think I broke this. Great. Okay, well, anyway, it is in. Whatever, it's all connected. Okay. Uh, should we just go for it? Let's go for it. All right, here we go. This is it. We're plugging in. Dad hasn't forgotten to turn anything on or plug anything in. Here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, we did it! We did it! Yes! Yes! Look at that, yes! ladies and gentlemen. Vector graphic monitor version 4.2. We did it! We did it, hot! 
diggity dog. Oh my God. I can't believe I just said hot diggity dog, but I am super excited. After what, six? six? Is this the sixth episode of debugging this thing? <laughs> yeah, most of which was uh, debugging the monitor that didn't need debugged. But this is the culprit right here. You darn yep, sneaky little guy. that one guy. chip. That was it. Oh. I'm playing with the contrast knob. I'm just playing with the keyboard. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that. Okay, yeah. now I've got this turned up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let's see, if, see these background lines. I'm going to try to turn down the brightness to make those background lines go away. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the brightness knob. So, Z, take a look at the extraneous lines and I'm going to turn it to the right. Tell me when they go away. All right. They're gone. And does it look like the screen still looks nice? It does. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, so we're going to get started reassembling this. And to start that, we're going to get to decharging. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's down to zero. I'm also going to make sure the caps are discharged, the main power supply caps. Okay, so my son got the back here back on and the PCB screwed back in to the plate here and these things back in. So there are a couple of screws that you're supposed to put on the bottom here that then go up into here and they're just a little bit off and this doesn't seem to be going anywhere so I'm just going to leave it. Huh, it's like I'm hacking in Fallout. Except there's a whole lot of nothing in memory. Ah, memory. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, FFC0. I wonder why I stopped there. All right, press B to boot off the floppy. That's a crazy sound. Oh, yeah, Vector Graphics 56K CPM. Here we are. Look at that. IPIR. Grr. Oh, look at all that. <laughs> um... Well, something that's kind of strange that I'm not used to is it sounds like the motor's running all the time. Wait a minute. I just wrote something. PIP. What the heck is PIP? Is Python installed on this? Type PIP and see what it does. I think it's some kind of modem program. Oh, it's the monitor. Oh, actually, huh, I don't know what that does. Oh, type graphic. Oh, Flash Rider Graphic Plot Utility. Okay, so it looks like the number pad lets you move and key plots. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, try diagonal lines again. There we go. Let's see what power does. Uh, okay. Oh. This is power 3.3, whatever that is. Oh, so this is some sort of disk test. Okay, I'm bored with that. Control C. Okay, so now let's test the B drive. So type B colon. B DOS error on B not ready. What is... Why does it keep trying to access the A drive? Because I keep pressing control C. Oh. Yeah, try B colon again. Okay. Why is it accessing the A drive there? I think B is just messed up. Yeah, maybe I don't remember how to use CPM. Why isn't it going to the B drive? I am computer man. Show me your NFTs.